I'm here right now. The art team is here in Cebu Business Park. So we can show you what are the progressive area that we have here in Cebu City. As you can see, this is the logo of Cebu Business Park. Cebu Business Park is the one of the business centers for in, in Cebu. Um, the entire uh, facade of this area is actually um, now a, a BPO hub as well where um, the, the tallest buildings are uh, a BPO is actually where the Amazon is located. Uh, second, if, if you look at the this side, this is the mall or the Ayala Mall owned by the Ayala Corporation. Uh, for the Ayala Mall, it's actually a, a great mall. Um, second to, the, to this area, um, you, you can see um, Seda Hotel, now owned by the Ayala Corporation. It used to be called uh, uh, the Marriott. Marriott. Yeah, this is the mm -hmm. old Marriott Hotel, but this was uh, purchased. This was bought by Ayala Corporation from Marriott. So now it's being renovated. Um, everything is done good. So this is now the new Seda Hotel. So we'll be entering the Cebu Business Park. And with the Cebu Business Park, actually, uh, with the name itself, there's actually a park inside the, the area. And you will see as well before, um, this place used to be like there's uh, some stalls for the, in the market during, during the night. And, and until now, there's still a small space for stalls. Um, they, they're open actually from Monday to, to Friday or even Sunday, um, selling fruits. So basically, um, this area houses for um, almost everything for almost um, every kind of industry um, if you look at that building you'll see the China Bank that's uh, the main building for China Bank but that's, that's not only houses for China Bank there are several small medium um, BPO renting the, uh, that building and also uh, beside China Bank building is the Lexmark building um, Lexmark is Lexmark yeah. here. Lexmark is the the company for known for printers. Printers. And they, they as well have developed another uh, softwares. Um, one nice thing about um, Cebu Business Park is this area. Actually, when I still uh, worked with China Bank before with one of the uh, BPO there. Um, this is where we actually um, stay for a while. We're stressed at work. So if you notice, um, several big trees on this place. So I think the trees here are quite old because yes. you can see by the looks of it. De definitely, um, these are um, trees. Are these trees are actually the stardust, and I think some of this one is Nara. Um, Nara tree? I, I'm not sure. Oh, they're mostly mahogany. Yes, mahogany tree. And acacia. It's very cold here. Yeah. Um, this where, is where, like in the middle of all the tall buildings around. Where, um, and as, as we said before, it houses also for condo, condominiums. Um, this is one of the condo buildings um, here. So usually uh, rentals for this would go as well as like as much as right fifteen thousand for for this rental. So wow, for a condo. Yeah, for a condo. So if you if you notice, um, you you find you find some you find some foreigners staying here because this area is actually very developed and very secure. Uh, a studio condo rents for fifteen thousand. A month? The, the small one, the small one, but there are, um, usually it's 25 to 50,000. We are now entering here in the area where most condos are located. 
but we're walking through the park of Cebu Business Park. Um, Cebu Business Park is actually a high-end um, area where, as we said, it is um, an, a, a place for uh, BPO, building for BPO, um, Ayala Mall Center, hotel, condo units. So as of the moment, we're in the area where most of the condo units are located. So you, you'll be able to see these tallest buildings. These are, uh, these are uh, condo units. It's a big mass area. I mean, the, the, the area for, for Cebu Business Park is a huge one. Um, over there are the new condo units being uh, constructed by Makati Development Corporation. This is actually what we call the Solenea 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, a high end uh, condo unit. And later on, we'll go to another uh, projects for Makati Development Corporation. So, usually, um, the <laughs> this is usually where most American companies rent spaces because the buildings here are already ready for BPO businesses, and so you can not just rent a space for yourself you can even create your own building with the uh, permission of Ayala of course because what is the they want to develop this place here and most of the buildings are on 25 years lease plus 25 years um, renewable lease I think, from Ayala um, this is an extension of Pisa. What's that? Uh, Pisa. Philippine uh, Export yeah. Processing uh, Zone. Th this is still an extension of the Philippine Export Processing Zone. That means that if you are declared uh, renting on that area, um, declared as a Pisa or Philippine Export Processing Zone, um, there's a certain discount or privileges or certain tax um, privileges that are given to you. So instead of like, uh, in, in, in a very layman's term, instead of like, for mostly, uh, tax for corporation should be 35%, but um, if you are declared renting in an area in a, in a uh, Philippine economic zone, um, it, it, the, the, the tax tr treatment would be the same as your country. So instead of like paying like a 35%, so in the first year of operation, you're just only paying like 15%, 10 or 12. Um, that is just an example, not, not, not the exact figure. Um, since you're freebie to some of these contracts here, when you want to build your own building, do you have to pay for the land or you can build it with a, with a what's agreement with Ayala Corporation? Um, with, with the since this is actually a, a, a land developed by Ayala Development, so usually uh, this is leasing still. So you're leasing from them, you're not buying the land? Um, you, you're not buying, you can't buy, you can't own the land, but this is subject to lease agreement until such time that lease will expire. And until, that, that still depend on how, would, how they would uh, drop the contract for the land. Because sometimes it, this is still like a uh, subsidiary of Ayala, Ayala Corporation. Say, for example, um, this is still developed by Ayala Land Corporation. Since Ayala has a different um, subsidies, so they, they might allow um, still um, ownership of the land. Do they allow ownership of the land? You just said that it's leasing only around here. For so many years for, for, for some um, subsidiary for example this project this project there's a different venture or a different company who uh, it's still the subsidiaries can own but some of the other buildings that's not subsidiary of Ayala are only done by lease Th that's correct um, for, for this building uh, this is a new building by film life uh, Film Life is of course an international company but they have still like a 
a uh, a company here. Uh, so this is Amazon. Uh, Amazon is Amazon. one of the one of the Amazon. for Amazon. This Amazon is Amazon Customer Center. So, if they want to create their own building here, you can only lease here on Ayala land. There, let's go there. units you still have actually to to, uh, to follow the to follow the we'll feature that about condos in the future but as of now we're featuring the Cebu Business Park expensive to maintain because her children are growing and the two bedrooms not enough this is actually good for um, condo units it's good for single people or bachelors or, or just a couple uh, yeah couple but if you're building a family I don't think this space is enough for you so yeah. um, this this is still a condo unit um, this is what they call alcoves alcove project still by Yala Corporation so um, the benefit or I always say the most uh, privilege that you could have for this uh, living in this area is actually you have almost everything for the amenities. Um, traffic yeah. is managed by by Ayala Corporation and by the Cebu Business Holdings by the way. Um, that that's the arm of Ayala Corporation in the management of this area so again uh, area is composed of hotel bank mall condo units business BPO's BPO um, it's basically commercial centers so if you notice um, this is now one of the go across there yeah so you could see the a known landmark here in Cebu now is Cebu Business Park but most people call this the Ayala Center but Ayala Center is only one of the building here but the whole place is called Cebu Business Park so if you, if you want to go to Cebu here you notice there are uh, foreigners Six puppies. It looks like that. Really Le yesterday, it was seven, but one died. Oh. Still bird. So got six. So you want one? The beautiful one, huh? Mm. It looks like that because she's a Maltese. There. So this is the Solinea project. 
um, Solinea condo unit is still not uh, finished, but almost I think one fourth of this is done already. You can still see some of the buildings on the back. I think there is there is a way in there. I think we close it. lot of buildings still going on because all of them are now being reserved for different companies so here you can see another building being built but I think this one is still part of Solinea these are um, built these buildings are Solinea but they, they, re they uh, reserve the center area because this is actually where the, 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 pool, the pool in so. So how it would look like. So, so this building so here to will look like this. So there is still like that too. Five more buildings. It's not yet uh, finished. Look at that, it's a swimming pool. This is where we are right now in the swimming pool area. Um, the project engineers, everything. Do you also had office there before? No, our, our project is in IT part. Okay. So Th these are a different project. So, but yeah. the, the person was the only the, the head of the contracts. Ah, okay. she's, she's staying here. Was How what's this building on the front? Is this another Ayala? Um, it's a different condo unit project, the different company. Look at this, um, it's very quiet here. Look at the go this area. Yeah, I, I okay. If I, I think it's a good investment for me still, still because if I have money, if, if you're gonna look at the place, it's still quiet. Um, so quiet, and you're I mean, near of everything. Think, that's, that's right. I mean, you're near in the, the biggest hospitals malls um, business center so um, and still you can you can have peace of mind with living in this area still and but some other people cannot afford to live in this kind of places also, so we can feature some of the lower cost condos yeah. perhaps in one, the future yeah. then we'll go in this area in this place exactly where you go if you're gonna go to the office of my boss before <laughs> so if it's like Monday to Saturday she'll be there actually um, uh, this time um, Makati Development Corporation is actually a, a uh, one of the biggest construction firm here in, in the Philippines but this is also they're following international standard they, are, they, they passed the review for the ISO, uh, several ISO certifications. Um, it's, it's quite complex, dynamic um, working environment. However, um, you, you get out because of you know some people, bad eggs, bad people. Oh, you uh, you failed. Um, uh, uh, set, you failed to tell the audience that you have left your your job yesterday from Ayala Makati Development Corporation also part of Ayala group because of some 
of his politics. Yeah. <laughs> so, he is now employed in another company, but he will be starting. I'll, I'll be back in my my original original field, which I was um, that my my bread and butter for for like um, eight years, where I was employed in a call center. I'm um, doing like school and and, and you know work. Uh, juggling from work, um, able to graduate law with, with my own resources, not able to ask money from my parents. I was able to, of course, handle all those experiences, challenges because of my, my stay in the BPO. So still for me, BPO is the best employer in this country. Yeah, because they um, do ha the BPO, in fairness, are giving so much benefits to all its es employees. Especially, especially if. Um, you are employed with an American company. American still pays well when it comes to compensation to their employees. Um, you're, you're paid almost everything for you. have got all the, the benefits and the compensation. Um, still, American company pays you well in this, in this kind of industry. So, I mean, you're, you're taken care of by them when it comes to your insurance. Yeah. So, as you can see in the video, uh, Cebu Business Park is a huge area where still it's uh, still still, uh, still some some land area or some land mass still available for construction. But um, as I know, um, Yala Corporation is aiming for a construction where it's still friendly to the environment, where where um, construction or, or buildings would thrive and there are still trees. So, um, they, they're basically aiming for sustainable development that uh, people could still um, take good care of the environment despite this uh, progress. So it is quite common among the Ayala development like here in Cebu Business Park and if you can notice in Cebu IT Park that parks are being developed between the buildings. So the sustainable living with the environment can be maintained. So this is another way to enter the Cebu Business Park from the center of Cebu. This is their entrance here from Gorodo Avenue. Santa Candongan Company is one of the biggest um, accounting firm in, in this country. It's like second or second to none to where in that yeah, build build comb build center. It. That's yeah. the Maric Maria, Maria Company. MSY Tower. That the MSY Tower. Um, for MS, MSY Tower. There are still like a small medium BPO in that area. Okay. So, as you can see, Cebu Business Park is still thriving. It's still being developed. Like the SRP, SRP area, the South Road properties, is also having construction almost 24 hours a day. And there's a lot of development going on there. Like here. Here in the Cebu Business Park, you're in the middle of the city. The heart of the of Cebu. Cebu. Um, so it, it's still like if you have money. For me, it's still like a good to 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 have an investment, a condo investment here, because um, as of this time, you can like convert this as an area and bed, or you can Eight. actually this area during around 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. it start. There are a lot of people um, walk or jog here. Um, they, they make it as a jogging place. It's actually safe in this area because there's no uh, public transportation going here. It's only like the, the private cars are allowed to enter um, in, 
this in this area so there's not this lot of people right now because um, it's Sunday mm -hmm. several I can just only see a few but um, like during 6 p.m. Yeah, there are some people who do their jogging here a good place um, high-end place uh, it's very secure um, area because 24 7 there are uh, private um, guards by the company so you're very safe here even in the middle of the night and if you look at this also in this building um, this house is for a, one of the biggest um, BPO in Cebu um, EXL. Um, if you look at their building, um, at the back of it, still like unnoticeable. It's a 7-Eleven and international. So we just eat in 7-Eleven. They got food there. 7-Eleven. So. 